Hello YouTube, it's the second, the third day, well, second day in Europe, third day of the tour, this is the third video, it will be, uh, it's fucking hot again, it's, it's about, I don't know, 32 maybe, 33, anyway, whatever the bloody temperature is, it's hot, and uh, I, I can't, I, I'm British, I don't cope with temperatures this high. Um, it, it's so hot it melted the glue of my heated grips thingy, so that's just sort of there, because there's nothing else I can do with it. Um, so, that's, that's not ideal. Uh, uh, yeah, it's freaking hot. I'm gonna die, but I might get to Paris, and then I have to... Uh, deal with the fun and exceedingly ridiculous thing of I'm catching a train in Paris, a motor rail train, as I do almost have to say, I'm catching a motor rail train in Paris and the uh, motor rail train leaves from Paris-Bercy at uh, 5, or rather that's kind of the time I want to get there, or probably slightly earlier, but uh, I get there, drop off the bike and then I have to catch a different train, which is not attached to the motor rail train, from Paris Bercy uh, onwards at a later point, namely half nine. Now that means that I have to carry my bike gear since I can't change in the train station, and I can't store all my bike gear on my bike because I don't have enough space to do that. Uh, I have to carry all my bike gear with me, um, which is fun, or something. Um, tomorrow I will be in Biarritz, because I will have got the overnight train, so I will travel 750 kilometres while asleep, I'm not using any petrol, so that's quite nice. Um, wake up. Be a Ritz, get out of the cabin wearing bike gear. Hopefully, it will be slightly colder in Be a Ritz. Hopefully, it will be like 35 degrees it is up here, which, while I fucking love that temperature, it is not a good temperature to be um, biking in because um, it's, it's too hot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me now. Another reason why I like there being no hedges. There are wind turbines there. And you can see all the way to the base, which is really cool because it's literally like 100 meters that direction. That's crazy. They're so close. It's pretty cool though. I, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I love how in Britain we're like, oh no, we can't have wind turbines. Wind turbines are good for the environment. Fuck that. We also can't have nuclear because that's terrifying because we're going to die if you've got nuclear power. Oh, hello. Are you a taxi or are you a cop? I think you're a cab, but I can't tell. I think you're a cab. I hope so. Uh, you've got a red light on top. I think you're a cab. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, wind turbines. Cool. No hedges. Cool. French scenery. Cool. Britain. Bit rubbish by comparison. I started that at a terrible time. Anyway, ignoring the fact that we just went past a power station, um, this is why I don't take motorways. Not just for the scenery, and because, you know, France is super pretty, and you don't really see that from the auto route, but also because there are corners, and corners are fun. It's certainly nowhere near as quick. I mean, every time I go through a village, I slow down to 50 k which is, you know, Slow. It's 32 miles an hour for translation purposes. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you don't see this and you don't get roads like this when you're on the auto route. You just, you just don't. It's 
just not as good. This is much more fun. I much prefer this kind of stuff. The, uh, I'm still going the right way, going towards Kane. Uh, the place that I thought I was going towards turns out not to be the place I'm going towards. So when there was a split between Kay and the other place that I've actually now forgot the name of, um, I took the wrong turning, went about half a mile before thinking, maybe I've gone the wrong way. I recognise the name Kay and I don't recognise the other one entirely. Maybe I should look this up. And it turns out this is the way I wanted to go, so now I'm heading the right way. And it's not that far to K and then after this place then it's into Paris and that I've got uh, I've got about four hours ish well realistically I want to not cut it that far uh, so I've got about three and a half hours to get to Percy in Paris and it should take me about another hour I think technically but that assumes uh, a number of things. Chief among which is that assumes that um, something. Oh yeah, that assumes I don't get lost and or stuck in Paris and uh, inevitably both of those are going to happen. It's still, it must be, it must be 30 degrees here in, in the shade but Yesterday it was 30 degrees. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, what? Alright, you're, you're, you're fucking nuts. Um, yesterday it was 30 degrees in the shade and I was riding in the sunlight, so it must have been about 35. Here, I'm riding in the shade and that makes all the difference. At least now there's a little bit of a breeze. Earlier it was stonkingly hot and there was no wind. Now, as you can possibly tell by the vague rustle of leaves, though it is vague, there is a tiny, tiny breeze. I'd appreciate if it was more than a tiny, tiny breeze, but a breeze is better than nothing, so... Oh god, oh no, it's not a real cow. <laughs> that was weird. I thought that was a cow was a cow but it was artificial anyway um uh, yeah so it's vaguely more pleasant but i'm pretty certain once i get into paris it's going to become incredibly unbearable incredibly fast because it's going to be this hot and i'm going to be in the center of paris oh well as long as I can get rid of the bike and get rid of some of my bike gear. Um, I should be in a vaguely acceptable position. And so that is basically the plan. Get into Paris, find Bercy, find a toilet, change into other gear. Waffle my shit over and then I'm done from oh hello you've got a Triumph Herald despite being French that's quite weird anyway peace out not even in Paris yet I was right though heat is already getting to be unbearable all the clouds have gone which is a shame um, but at least the roads are interesting, even if I am going to probably boil to death before I arrive in Paris, but hey, eh, we shall see what happens. This complete madhouse is the uh, Route Périphérique. Uh, it, it's, it's fucking lethal and people just switch lanes at arbitrary random times without indicating or even as far as I can work out without thinking about it. They're just like, oh fuck it, lane change, wow, damn. Uh, yeah, it's d like that, for example. At least that person indicated. Normally they don't. Uh, also, the, oh shit, balls. Stuff like that happens um, a lot. And it's, yeah, 
fucking hell. This is super bloody nuts along here, but I need to get along here because this is the way I have to go to get to the bloody train station that I need, which is a small pain in the arse because I'd rather not go along the craziest road in existence. But I'll take the craziest road in existence since I don't have a fucking choice. But yeah, this has four lanes and People think the M25 is bad, but this is just... Well, you can see what it's like, and it's mental. There are a thousand people absolutely everywhere at all times, and I'm not really coping very well. Uh, also, my luggage makes my bike really wide, so I'm scared to fit through gaps. I'd otherwise be fine fitting through. But, luckily, it's not that much wider than my mirrors, so I know if my mirrors can fit through, I'm probably fucking jeebus. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, that person broke down. That's... Of course they broke down. Don't, don't go really slowly. Ah, God! This is mental. You've got to drive like a French person to be able to get along around here. Which is okay, because I'm alright driving like a nudge off if I need to, but fuck me. Yes, you can go past me. Sorry, I was clearly slowing you down. 